Okay, I um, this is day nine of the garden, and um, I did the video this morning before I started, but I just checked the uh, footage and it didn't come out. Um, I'm not quite sure why, but anyway, this is uh, how we got on with today. Um, I'll show you around. So we've got the shed pretty well up, um, a bit complicated. I had to make a frame for the bottom wood frame, then we had to level out and we engraced the wood out, or mainly graced the wood out actually and then we built the shed, um, that's how far we got so far so it's uh, 8 by 6 um, twin window, twin door I also said it, it, they said it's easy to um, build put together etc but uh, I'll tell you what if you look at the instructions, they're more um, difficult than you think. Um, what I had done was we started putting the other shed in there and I started digging up and putting tiles down, as you can see, slabs. Um, that's the floor of the uh, Grace's shed. Now, we changed our mind slightly because I think I went too wide on that one, but that's not a problem because we'll put some gravel and something down the side. Um, maybe a flower, I don't know. The uh, reason I went a bit wide was because you've got to put the felt on the roof. Um, Problem is you need to get down the shed to get it on. You can't, you know, you can't get in uh, from next door. So you're pretty well lumbered. Um, that's the only thing I'd say was a problem with the apex roof uh, rather than the flat roof. Um, because uh, well, I know when I built a shed years ago, it was a flat roof and it was homemade, so I could get on the roof. These are not quite so solid. Um, the sheds, um, let's be honest. Um, they're quite flimsy really uh, but yeah that's the situation uh, the decking I probably have shown you is I put it out um, but it's not finished yet and there's cocoa down there in between so yeah um, cocos is growing in the bottom of this uh, magnolia as you can see oh, I think they're crocuses and the tree's starting to Magnolia is starting to leaf up. And the buggier, buggier, whatever you call it, butterfly. Uh, Grace is expected to be a bit bigger, so it's very small actually. But so yeah, that's the situation so far. Um, so that's what we're doing today. Uh, so we'll see you tomorrow. As I said, I I did start a video just to show you what I was doing, um, but for some reason I said it didn't come out. Uh, as you can see, the, I made a frame for the base. Um, I did show you the frame, but you know, obviously it didn't come out. But there's a frame down there. Um, got to figure on something just to you know, make it look good. As I said, there is a big gap because of the roof, which helps because you can get down there and paint it. Um, small gap at the back of the shed, so you can spray down there with the old wood stuff. Um, we'll have a good look. As I said, this isn't secure yet, but that's what it's going to be. So, yeah, I left quite a gap there. Um, they say do it for damp as well, so you, you, know, you don't get condensation or wet down the trapped. So yeah, still looks like a building site, but uh, well, the next door is Lily, and there goes my dogs. So it's getting there. Um, it's Trini, Trini, Trini. Um, so yeah, so I'll see you on day ten. And we shall get on then. Day 10, um, not an happy chappy. Uh, didn't go as well as planned. Got the roof bars in, um, windows, doors all ready to go on. I put a piece up there to hold it up while I'm not working on it. Uh, nothing seemed to line up. Um, did everything it said. The instructions are pretty poor. Um, but like I said, it's in place. Uh, got a window in. Still a bit of rain before I get onto it again, which is probably going to be a week. Um, it's a bit of a pain. I'll have to see how it goes in a week because I've got to get my uh, raised gar beds done, bar beds. Um, so we've got the gravel coming for it. Um, not the raised gravel bed so I turn a fib, um, my decking. As I said to you before it needs finishing, so 
I tried to do another job because uh, I'm waiting for the gravel to do that. The worst situation is I didn't get the shed finished. So two sheds, three quarters done. Um, that's what it is sometimes, I suppose. Have you had problems with sheds fitting them? Did yours go up easily? It wasn't exactly a cheap shed. Uh, as I said, I made it with the base, everything's square. It's just adjust here, adjust there, but before you know it, day's gone. Um, any advice, please comment below. Hope you like the video. Please like and subscribe. I'll speak to you next week. Bye bye.